one of the best uses of a virtual machine is to run older software. Windows 7 is a great example of software that many people don't run as their main OS anymore. If you have tried to run it in a KVM virtual machine, you will know that it eventually gets stuck on a loading screen. There are two ways of dealing with this. For people with Intel CPUs with no integrated graphics, they can simply run it under CBIOS. All they need to do is get rid of this line, the one that uses uh, the OVMF uh, file, and uh, they should be able to run it without any issues with a dedicated GPU. People who do have uh, integrated graphics in their Intel CPUs might have a more difficult time. What they might need to do, they might have to stick to OVMF because uh, CBIOS has uh, problems with VGA arbitration on their systems. So for them, this guide will go over the steps that might be necessary to install Windows 7. Okay, so let's get started. Let's become a super user. And uh, let's create, well, let's go to the right folder. Okay. And uh, let's create a hard drive image. Irimu uh, dash img uh, create f qcow uh, is the type qcow2 and uh, the name let's name it vm underscore hdd dot img and uh, let's make it uh, 45 gigabytes in size okay and now that we got that let's uh let's add it here so hda and it will be vm underscore hdd dot img Mm, I also have my USB mouse and keyboard here and that's about uh, it we don't need much more than that for now so let's save it and let's run it oh I have to make it executable okay Okay, so it should start. Boot from the CD ROM. And that should go fine. So I'll install the Windows on this virtual machine with no graphics card. And I'll see you when the VM is up and running. Okay, so now that our virtual machine is booted, I went ahead and downloaded Firefox and used it to download the NVIDIA driver, or for that matter, whatever other driver you need. And now I'll shut down the virtual machine and I will add the GPU to the initialization script. LSPCI. And we'll see the list of all of our devices. And our GPU is right here. Okay, so let's add that. Device VFIO dash PCI comma host. And the number, so it's zero one equals zero one colon zero zero dot one and we don't have to do the xvga equals on we can skip that and the device vfio dash pci equals host uh, equals zero one colon zero zero dot oh Okay, let's do one and let's do zero. Okay. Okay. Let's save that 
and let's uh, boot into the VM. Okay, so we should be able to install our driver and then reboot. We'll restart later. We'll shut it down. Okay, now that it's shut down, let's add one more line and VGA none because we don't want the virtual graphics card to be in use. So we'll save that and we should be able to boot back into the virtual machine and uh, hopefully it comes up without any issues. Um, you might have to be patient while doing that. It might take a bit, so let it start. If you don't see anything on the screen within like a minute uh, or so, reset it, uh, reset the virtual machine and let it start again. Hopefully on the second try, you will see something on the screen. But uh, yeah, you, that's the part where you might have to be patient. So yeah, let's try it. Okay, I had to reset mine by typing uh, system reset, system underscore reset into the QEMU console. But uh, now it's up and let's try uh, start Windows normally. Yeah, it came up. So uh, let's uh, see device manager. And let's see display adapters. Yep, there it is. NVIDIA GeForce, GTX 980. Oh, and we have all our QEMU stuff there. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that should be it. I mean, it's, uh, it's not... Uh, perfect solution it's a workaround but uh, it doesn't require too much effort and uh, yeah it uh, it fixes the issue so i'll see you in my next video